All right, guys. So let's do this. All right. So this is a chart right here for a 20-day, one-hour mixed in with a five-day, five minutes, and this is the level two. That's the level two. And mixed in with that, we are trying to play a play on HUYA, which if you can see at the 20 day, one hour mark, we have a resistance line here. Mixed in with the support. Click, come through here. See right here. We crossed above. We crossed above over here at the 20 day exponential moving average in our 20 day one hour chart compared to our five day and five minute chart. We are above it. The EMA, we're above the five day EMA, the 20 day EMA, we're heading up across the red view wall. So, and this blue bar represents the volume. So this volume is going to be very important, um, especially uh, when you try to see how many people are buying and selling during the time frame. So we're in uh, right at pre-market right here. You see the it opened at 32.22 and it came up, crossed this line, and now hopefully, if all goes well, we will stay above this EMA and we will uh, have this red V walk, we will stay above it. And if all goes to well, we will continue to rise. That is uh, the best case scenario. In between here, we've been falling for a while, so um, hopefully, now that we've stayed under this EMA, which is this blue line. The plan is now that we've crossed this blue line and right here, this, um, and now that we have crossed this blue line, hopefully we can stay above this blue line, which is our exponential moving average, um, and we can continue to see a jump. Um, and hold above it. If we can hold above that line, we can just hold above it, hold above it, and keep growing. Um, that will be a great thing to happen. So a couple things just to make note of. This is your level two over here. These are our bid and our ask prices. And as you can see there, if you look back, there was a 52 right here. And when there's each one of these numbers represents a hundred. So we had a huge jump and spike. And that um, correlates into a, a big jump and a spike in this area. And what I mean is the bid is how many people are um, buyers and the ask is the sellers. So when there's more buyers and sellers, it creates a really good environment. And as you see right here, we have a volume bar that's really high. So we have a high volume, which means there's more people now. Um, you look at this volume bar and you see how high it is when it's green. That means there's a lot of people in this buying at the time. Um, so, you know, hopefully if we can keep this run going, um, you know, getting in it. If you were to have gotten in at the market open right around 32, you're up over two dollars a share right now uh, for that. Um, I got in a little bit late, so I got in around the 33.69 mark, which was way too late. Uh, it was a bad play on my part. I should have had a better entry point. Um, but again, that's just always learning. It's all a learning process. Um, this whole thing is. So I hope this uh, is a little uh, uh, beneficial to you. If you guys have any more questions, um, excuse the music in the background. I'm at a restaurant at the time, but I hope this helps uh, looking at some of the charts. You guys have a great day.